Doe Coyle here from the University of Edinburgh. During the last few decades, I've worked alongside bilingual teachers and learners across the globe. Many, many, many schools serve very diverse communities. And our goal is to ensure that all learners, whoever they are, become more autonomous, more responsible for their own learning. Because this will equip them to become lifelong inquirers for the future. This is our challenge. Autonomy is the ability to take responsibility for and control of one's own learning independently or in collaboration with others. It follows, of course, that an autonomous learner is likely to be more effective than a learner who is reliant on the teacher. But what are the conditions which encourage diverse bilingual students to become independent learners? This video clip highlights two practical principles for creating classrooms that encourage more responsible and autonomous learners. These principles are making learning visible and making learning accessible. So, let's start with two simple ideas for making learning visible. Making time for regular learning conversations encourages students to analyse learning itself. These conversations take place when teachers and learners openly discuss their learning. Learning conversations emphasise that everyone is good at doing some things. These need to be celebrated, built on and developed. But also that everyone has areas that need careful support. Learning conversation identifies strategies for building individual confidence rather than destroying it. Linking learning conversations to learning diaries is also helpful. Diaries are owned by individual learners and encourage them to monitor and evidence their own progress, their own achievements and challenges in ways which are meaningful to them. So diaries come in different forms such as journals, e-folios, blogs, tweets and so on. The second principle is about making learning accessible. Here are six ways that are commonly reported by teachers as being helpful. So, designing a wider range of tasks that challenge students. Building in time to talk with students about their learning, learning conversations. Actively developing scaffolding techniques and learner strategies. Encouraging a range of formative assessments. Increasing student-led inquiry approaches and supporting independent study. Focusing on just one of these provides a really useful starting point. See, when together we openly analyse and evaluate with students their own learning, we also demonstrate that all learners are valued. And this is vital for building mutual respect and collaboration. It lays the foundation for more autonomous, meaningful bilingual learning. Encouraging learner voice empowers all learners to feel more in control and develop their confidence. Teachers report back that learner voice can be activated through regular learning conversations, sometimes in more than one language. For example, here are some typical topics that are discussed and questioned. What do we do if we don't understand? How can we work better in a group? Why do we need to be more cautious of online data? How do we create good criteria for peer and self-assessment? So, the takeaway message from this video is emphasised by bilingual teachers and it focuses on making learning both visible and accessible so that students feel more in control, more successful, confident and better prepared to set their own challenging yet achievable bilingual learning goals. Thank you.